Okay, so now let's add some switches. So if we go to the documentation in unitedpinball.net, uh, we can see under the, uh, the hierarchy class for the, the different uh, switches type. So all inherits from BX basic switch, which is the default one. And you can see that there are multiples in here. <coughs> and in our script, if we look at what, what it was like uh, in, um, in Dr. Jude, which we commented the lines, uh, we can see that it's a bit tedious, uh, changing all the names and uh, making one line for, uh, for, for a switch and uh, it's a bit polluting the script so it's maybe better to do it in a loop way and uh, to do it we can do as it was in attack from mass which i loaded the script here and uh, go to the switch and we see that all the switches are uh, are linked uh, for every kind of switch okay so let's copy it and go back to a script we can delete to clean to clean things up all right slingshots and bumpers are a bit specific so we keep it we leave it right now and as you can see um, we can have uh, separated it like in standard switches uh, which are the base, basic switch all the switches by default uh, we can use uh, trigger switches. Trigger switches are um, basically the same, but with an animation, and uh, you will see how what it what it's like. Also, the lift targets and the drop targets. I uh, think there is nothing here, but uh, uh, we will check it later. So um, let's comment things up, and we will focus on. On the standard switch, on the trigger switches right now, because it's the, actually we can do it using standard or trigger, but the switches can be um, can be animated. So this kind of switch for the in lane or out lanes, these are trigger, and when imported, the animation is imported too. Actually, in United Pinball Beta, there's a bug, and the animation is not working uh, very well right now, but it's kind of okay. Um, so let's first align the different things. So this is a cosmetic uh, change, but it has its importance. And uh, oops. about that okay same for the other side Okay, and let's just do as we did for the lamps. Uh, uh, I mean, re renaming all the switches uh, with a standardized um, a standardized uh, name. So let's call it SW because S will be used for solenoid later. And the number of the slots. So uh, in the documentation, which is sorry about that. It's in United Pitbull Beta, Elvira, documentation, let's open it, and, and I think it was in the, this page, oh, before that, okay, so, let's look at this, so it's 17, 18, and it's an 19, 20, so let's just rename it SW17.
SW19. SW20. SW. What? 20. Sorry, but made a mistake right here. This is the 19th and the 7th. 20th. SW20. Okay. We will try this try this one right now and uh, we will change for the other ones later. So let's save it. Also modify the change log. And in the script, let's add the good numbers. So it's in uh, integer list. Just have to put the slot numbers we did. And pay attention, we used lowercase, not uppercase. So as you can see, this, this um, so this is the name of the of the behavior. And uh, this will do the trick of uh, launching animation when the, the thing is the switch is triggered. Uh, while I'm here, oops, I will rename those SW, SW, okay. So let's, uh, let's try it. It may be a problem in this version because in uh, using Elvira because <coughs> in all modern tables with uh, the DMD uh, you often have a test mode. I don't know if there is one in Elvira, but uh, it's easier using the test mode and uh, and the debug shot, uh, and we will check it. So. Uh, Let's uh, open the slot explorer. So we linked the switches uh, 17 to 20. And let's start to see if it's working. Um, so I launch a game. Hey, let's party. Okay. Uh, actually, I. I just see there is a bug on the, the the sound option. The sound volume option seems not to work. Okay, so let's try it. Uh, this one should be the switch 19. So it seems it has been lost. Uh, let's check again. Oh, it's the 20. Okay, so first problem in here. I think it did not... Uh, Used my version. Okay, 19. Let's try some clean away. Sorry about that. Oh, the ball has been launched, so we have to wait about it. And let's try again. So, 16 is okay. This one is 19 and 20. So, there are some name problems. Let's qu quit and continue. Uh, changing the names. Okay, let's check it. Um, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it should be working. 17, this one was working. 19, that is the problem. It's 18. It's 19. So this is a, a problem with a future pinball. Uh, if the name you're entering is already assigned to another object, uh, there is no warning, but the name is not uh, is not affected. So let's save it, and I'm quite confident. So uh, we will look for the for other trigger switches. Um, in the documentation, there is D. 
this one. Let's zoom out. Uh, which is 29, uh, and it seems to be let's okay 29 the right return oh no sorry 29 lock entry and 51 is lock free okay okay we will see for the lock later because it seems that there is something else uh, but let's do the 29 the 22 which is the top right rollover and 23 the right side roll under okay 22 23 and 29 so Here it is. Oops. Okay, and let's see if okay. Clean things up. This one is T oh switch twenty two. Switch twenty three. Let's select it again to see if the name is okay. Well twenty three and twenty. 9 is not, it's this one. 29. Okay, save it. So we have to add in the list 22, 23, and 29. Uh, let's do also the, the 21, the shooter lane trigger. Number then, then we will launch the game again. Uh, okay, so oh, hi Cassandra. I will post five. Okay, so welcome back and let's open the slot explorer so we have to check 21 22 23 and 29 so let's go and all the others to check if the they are correct so let's drop a ball so it seems to be 29 for here 20 uh, 19 uh, sorry 29 seems okay here is the 18 I guess yes and 17 good let's try this one should be oh sorry this one should be the oh this one doesn't work it should have been the 29 check the others and come back to this one later 23 is okay. And oops. 22, okay, 2. So there's the 29 not working. Let's check it. Actually, we can see that the ball is not rolling right over it. So maybe this is the problem. But let's check the name first. Oh, I did not call it S29. Right. So let's save it and it should work right now. So, um, Thank you very much. In next video, we will uh, link another kind of switches. Okay, thank you.